All right, so today we're going to learn how to image trace an object with Adobe Illustrator. Uh, if you ever wanted to create cool designs like this, or even stuff like this, uh, there's a very simple tool called Adobe Illustrator that'll let you take a regular image like this and make it make it a little graphical. So to start off, let's just download this image. Uh, I'm going to call it Skyline and save it. And then you're going to want to open Adobe Illustrator here. Um, on the Mac, you're going to have to search for it. So you can just ask someone next to you for help finding this program. Once it opens, uh, open open the image that we just downloaded. And here we go. So you're going to notice there's this little box here, and then there's this image. This image has to be contained um, within the box. So we just need to shrink it down a little bit. Otherwise, anything outside of your little workspace here will not be image traced. All right, so we got our image here. Uh, if you click it, there's this little thing up here called image trace. Click image trace, and some things are going to happen. And then once you're at this stage, uh, you're going to want to click the presets over here. Click presets, and you're going to get a drop down menu. Uh, the most common one to use is low fidelity. And if you do that, your computer will start doing um, all the necessary adjustments to change this photo into something that looks more like this or this. All right, let's see if it's done. Nope. Still waiting. Still waiting. Yeah, this may take a while for larger images. Okay, so now it's done. It's starting to look pretty cool, but before we can put it into our pages, we need to save it properly. File save as, and you're going to want to save it as .ai right here. Save it. All right. And then open up Photoshop. Open. Click this image here. And default settings are all right. And here's our image. And then to put it in your document, file, save as, and then save it as either a, a TIFF or if you're putting it into the website, PNG. All right, so we started off with this image right here. And now through image tracing it, it looks like this. Uh, if you're on a design page for the first time and you don't really have an idea of what to do, uh, just taking an image off the internet and image tracing it is often a good place to start and uh, give you some ideas on where to go from there.